We are joined by the 2022 PA Rabbit King and Queen. Can you guys introduce yourselves for us? Hi everyone, I'm Molly Lynn Petro and I'm the 2022 Pennsylvania Rabbit Queen. Hi everybody, I'm Eli Bell, I'm the 2022 Pennsylvania Rabbit King. So can you tell us a little bit how you got into rabbit breeding and just this whole world? Well, a fun fact about us is actually we were both raised in the rabbit hobby, commodity, and industry. My aunt was, and still is, a heavy rabbit breeder, and so is his family. So can you tell me a little bit about the breeding process for rabbits? So for rabbits, we uh, based off our rabbits off of the standard of perfection, and each breed has a certain uh, weight it's supposed to be and certain uh, color or like marking it's supposed to have, and uh, we take them to the show uh, when we think they're ready to show, uh, and we're, the judge is basically looking for the disqualifications, and uh, we get to uh, have an awesome time just meeting new people, uh, other breeders, and uh, just having a great awesome time. Yeah. What made you guys interested in running for PA Rabbit King and Queen? Another fun fact about us is actually in 2014, I was five years old and so was Eli. We both ran for Lord and Lady and actually ended up getting it. So it's nice that we're finishing out our reign being the King and Queen together because that's how we started. Now, can you tell me a little bit about different breeds of rabbits? Uh, so different breeds of rabbits. So my favorite type of breed of rabbit is the Mini Lops. Uh, that is a mid-sized rabbit, so medium size. Uh, it's a compact breed. Uh, it's got the lopped ears, and there are giant fuzzy rabbits like the uh, giant Angora. And there's also smaller rabbits like the Polish. So there's like a big different uh, variety of rabbits that you can choose from. Yes, rabbits are incredibly diverse. There are different fur types, body types, colors, breeds. There's currently di 50 different br breeds recognized under the American Rabbit Breeders Association. So speaking about the association, can you tell us a little bit about the Rabbit Breeders Association? So ARBA stands for the American Rabbit Breeders Association. It's basically, they made the standard of perfection and all these judges are licensed under the American Rabbit Breeders Association. Basically, it says how to judge rabbits and we're pretty much a big family, that's for sure. And there's also regional, like the Pennsylvania State Rabbit Breeders Association, organizational. So how long does it usually take for a rabbit to mature to the age that they're ready to be at a show? Uh, depends on the breed, actually. Uh, there's a junior class, and some rabbits have an intermediate class and senior class. Um, a, a good, my breed of rabbit, it takes about three months uh, to get into the uh, junior class. It also depends on the weight of the rabbit, too. So when you are breeding rabbits, are there any notes or tips you could give to anyone? Well, of course, it depends on the breed. You're always working to get to that ideal rabbit, necessarily, from the standard of perfection when it comes to body type, fur type, their, how they're built. It just kind of depends which traits you're looking for each time. Like for this guy, I'd be looking for that density of fur because I feel like he lacks that. I would like some more thickness almost with his fur. He has nice guard hairs. I like his body type. He has a pretty nice head, so I'd work for, of course, that fur type to get that ideal rabbit. Well, 2022 Pennsylvania King and Queen of Rabbits, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.